And the European Union has uh, hailed Joe Biden's inauguration later today as a U.S. president as, uh, well, uh, his inauguration later today as U.S. president as a new dawn for Europe and the United States, while insisting U.S. technology companies should be regulated to stop the dark forces of hate speech online. The EU and the United States are the world's top trading powers, along with China, and have close cultural, historical, business, and defense ties. But Donald Trump sought to sideline the EU, championing Britain's departure from the bloc. Expressing relief at the end of four years of Trump's America First policy, the EU's chief executive and chairman told the European Parliament that shaping new global digital regulation together was paramount. This time-honored ceremony on the steps of the U.S. Capitol will be a demonstration of the resilience of American democracy and the resounding proof that, once again, after four long years, Europe has a friend in the White House. This new dawn in America is the moment we've been waiting for so long. Europe is ready for a new start with our oldest and most trusted partner. And this is why the Commission recently has adopted a new forward-looking transatlantic agenda. And it focuses on where we can together join forces to push for global change based on our common values, interests, and global influence. On the first day of his mandate, I address a solemn proposal to the new U.S. President. Let's build a new founding pact for a stronger Europe, for a stronger America, and for a better world. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.